All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy on our quest to casually let's play every single Final Fantasy mainline game and some bonuses. This is a day I have waited for for ugh, a lot of years. I've been making content on YouTube for almost 13 years now, and uh, never once have I even touched Final Fantasy VI, and now is finally the time. Um... I guess just a little bit of backstory. Um, I grew up on Final Fantasy VII. It was the first Final Fantasy game I played. First real serious like video game at all that I played um, back in the day. And Final Fantasy VII is the game that got me hooked on video games. So after that, I always felt like I should play all of the Final Fantasies one day. Um, fast forward, I don't know, six, seven years... Um, I started a series on YouTube called Let's Play Final Fantasy, but it didn't get very far uh, because I did it in college. I had two jobs at the time and going to college, so I ended up Let's Playing just Final Fantasy 1 and then not even finishing Final Fantasy 2. Uh, fast forward a couple more years, and I decided I finally had the community and the resources to do a full Let's Play marathon of all the Final Fantasies, and now we've done... Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, 3, 4, 5, and, and now, finally, we're here at Final Fantasy 6. And uh, I have heard so much about the legacy of this game. Um, I know that the villain is one of the best of the series, if not the best in the whole series. And I know that Terra's theme uh, is pretty much the only song I've heard from this game. But it is my favorite video game song of all time, even though I don't know what happens in the game like how it works in the game i heard it outside the game and it's still my favorite video game song of all time so i personally am looking forward to hearing tara's theme in its natural habitat to see what it's all actually about um but yeah i'm just so so excited to play final fantasy 6 i uh always wanted to do it with you guys so you could all experience my first time through it and now it is finally time 13 years later to do it um, we are playing the original, of course, Final Fantasy III on the SNES, uh, labeled as such because it was the third Final Fantasy game to come out in the States, uh, but it is Final Fantasy VI. We're playing it on an original Super Nintendo through SCART and through a Frame Meister. The Frame Meister instead of the OSSC because it handles the Super Nintendo a bit more. So the game is going to look fantastic, and here we go. Oh, I hear it. Yeah, gotta love that Super Nintendo click. Gotta love it. I don't even know if we should watch this or not. Final Fantasy intros like to spoil stuff. Bom bom. <laughs> bom bom. Epic. I've seen this, and I've seen like two seconds of the intro. That's it. The other games that I usually played like an hour of when I've got them, but this I've played nothing. I've only seen two seconds of the intro to make sure the game worked. Also, this game has some, this cart has some really weird saves on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these saves are. They're not spoilery, but they're all level 99 with max stats. I don't. Someone played a lot of Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, let me know what the audio is like. I think it's okay, but let me know if it needs turned up. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. A thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread, destructive force known as magic. Magic is so evil in this game. There's definitely like this... I feel like there's this... Machines versus magic, or like technology versus magic theme going on. Alrighty. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Dude, it feels unreal going from Final Fantasy V PS1 with, like, the worst sound ever 
to this, the, the true SNES feel, you know? Just listen to that wind. <laughs> Better than the Final Fantasy VII wind. There's the town. Oh, I don't skip this. Hard to believe an Esper's been found intact there 1,000 years after the War of the Magi. It's Wedge! Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. I know, man. I can't believe we're playing. And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? Didn't, didn't you take her with you? I heard she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. No, she ain't screwing around. Not to worry. The slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. Yeah, I kind of wonder if Vix is supposed to be Biggs. Might be a mistranslation. Yeah, you can have a side of fries. Ooh. This is a different. Different version than I'm used to. Yeah, this sounds like a different kind of arrangement. It's still good, though. It's still giving me goosebumps. This is like straight goosebumps I got from the screen. This doesn't happen often to me, to be honest. But this is like... Yeah. <laughs> We're going on the quest. It's kind of perfect for us. Just because we waited so long to play. This is like the greatest intro. I mean, none of the other games had anything like this, where it's just this big outstretched intro. The start of an epic adventure, yeah. Yeah, so to reiterate, I know the legacy this game has. I know that it's one of, if not the best of the series. A lot of people put it at their number one. Most people at least put it at their number one in terms of the retro games. And, uh, so, like, I'm going into it with expectation, but I have not touched a single minute of it. I only know a little bit of the villain and a little bit of the music, and that's it. Looked like those buildings were in the mountains in the background. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Forward. Sure, just throw the throw the girl in. Now am I skipping this? Yeah. Oh, I'm moving. The Esper's got to be in here. Move out. Oh, they got mad at me because I walked backwards. Do I have a menu? No. <laughs> I like how Wedge and Vix are like stereotypical soldier level one I have like my whole menu wait what am I some kind of baby crank these numbers up I might I might keep the message speed slow gauge I don't know what that is memory Controller. Wait, what? Controller, single, multiple. What does that mean, guys? Is that like... Can you play multiplayer? <laughs> what does that mean? Multiplayer? So, is it like Final Fantasy IX? That's really cool. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know that Final Fantasy IX has a multiplayer. It's kind of like hidden. But if you plug in a second controller, you can have uh, somebody control menu options and... 
with another character. Uh, okay. Oh, we got... Okay. The, okay, so one of the saves picked this one. Is this not, like, the ugliest window? Like, you can barely read stuff. That's awful. That's not for me. I kind of like the wood. It reminds me of, uh... Old PS1 RPGs. What the... <laughs> can you play the whole? You can play the whole game like this. They were trolling. It's not even like centered. <laughs> it looks so bad. What the heck? Who would pick that? What is? Oh, you can you can change the font color. Oh, that's cool. Dude, more advanced than Final Fantasy VII. What? Uh, okay, what if I do... Wait, I'm confused. Why isn't it changing? Oh, are these... What? Dude. Why why is this so customizable? <laughs> this puts Final Fantasy 7 to shame. Final Fantasy 7, bad game confirmed. Is this the, ba is this the border? Alright, boys. We're gonna be here a minute. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait for Death to finally play Final Fantasy 6. Spends two hours in the menu. <laughs> Alright, uh. I don't understand. But that's changing. I want red text, it'd be cool. Why does my why does it still look so blue? I want black. This is kind of ugly, not gonna lie. All right, on a scale from one to ugly, what? Okay, one being cursed, ten being... <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Alright, just reset it. <laughs> just reset it to the normal. Alright, we're just going to leave it. Items, we have nothing. I have a pendant. A pendant worn by the girl who pilots the Magitek armor. Neat. I have cure and fire. Wow, what a sorcerer. She has fire, dude. She's unstoppable. I'm gonna laugh when they're like, magic is this super ancient art that no one knows and then everyone has access to magic. That tends to happen a lot in Final Fantasy games. They're like, oh my god, you have magic? And then just some random kid on the street also has magic. <laughs> like, I, I thought that with Final Fantasy XII with Vaughn and Pinello, where, like, they're just, like, orphans on the street, and then they follow the king and queen, but then suddenly they can use, like, Ultima. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why can they use Ultima? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what relics are. That's new. Alright. 
enough of that. Knock, knock. I'm here. Machine riding, self-important swine. Take this. Oh, he sent his dog at me. I don't want to kill the dog. Oh, the music, though. This sounds like Chrono Triggery to me. It's got that... Fire Beam. So the Magitek stuff has, like, its own stuff going on. Okay, that dog is really dead. I am... I am very sorry for... <laughs> that was... that was brutal. Absolutely brutal. It's hard to tell where I'm walking, the... Because of the weird, like, angle. Imperial Magitek armor, not even Narsh is safe anymore. Narsh, isn't that from 12? Or rather, did 12 copy that? Can I hit all? Oh. High speed. Okay, why would I use my own magic when I have Magitek? Oh, her Magitek's way better. Tech missile. <laughs> this is the most violent start to a game. Just go around murdering people with giant missiles. How dare you live in this village? Narcia's freedom depends on us. What is expert? All right. We just deleted that dog from existence. Oh my god. I've lived in this village my whole life and I'm willing to sacrifice my dog to protect my town. We just delete the dog from existence. Sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh my god. How's it going, you here? Oh my god. Man, these effects. You know the best part? The sound effects actually sound like sound effects that are coming from the, the game console. Instead of Final Fantasy V when they sounded like they were coming out of a tin can. <laughs> like, I had a tin can to my ear and the sound effect artist was just like making the sound effects. Okay, we might be like super strong, but to be honest, we're actually like taking damage. Like, we don't have that much health. I don't know if these Magitek armors have, like, their own health or not, but... Yeah, so this is pretty much as, as pretty as this version is ever going to look. It's through SCART on an original SNES through the Framemeister upscaler. So, I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. It looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Went up a level. Yeah, part of the reason, you know, part of the thing with Fantathon is I wanted to time capsule all these games. And to me, getting them in at least as good of quality as I can is important, you know. It's not like, you know, if we have to cut corners, we have to cut corners, but... Getting them to look as good as I possibly can was important when I first started planning out Phantathon, so. Because you can always play a remaster or whatever, but to see these original games as good as they possibly can look is, is cool. We must defend the mines! Oh, they got... They got wolf people now? What's going on? Oh, they just... Okay. I guess they... Trained, trained mammoths. Hate to see it, but you're about to get bio blasted. Oh my god, that heal! That's a little overkill, dude.
dude, this this wind is so loud. Like, I turned up my volume on my headset because the, the battle music seemed a little quiet, and then I'd just get hit with this... <laughs> it reminds me of the wind effect in 7, where it's just, like, so loud for some reason. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Well, let's, let's get it then. Can I run, by the way? You could run in seven, so... No. This is a save point. An eerie glow surrounds you. Want info about save points? At save points, you can use a sleeping bag or a tent and also save the game. If you should perish, you'll automatically be able to play from your last save. Though any GP, treasures, etc. you have found will have to be found. Okay, well, yeah, that's how saving works. <laughs> I mean, I asked for the tutorial, but it, <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I lived before 2010. I know how this works. Alright, sorry, level 99 file. Level 4 file is OP. Yeah, already the translation seems a bit better. It's a were-rat. That thing is terrifying. And a repo man. <laughs> what is the repo man doing in the mineshaft? Oh, he didn't die in one hit. Oh my god. Oh wait, yeah, he did. Was that his... What is that? Was that his dying blow was to throw his wrench? Like, as he died, he threw his wrench at us for one final... Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, the sprites are already so good. I'll handle this. Stand back. Wow, dude. We could have done that. We won't hand over the Esper. Welk, get him. Oh, boss, here we go. Wait, you, you threw a snail at us? Hold it. Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its shell? Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, already. Well, you said lightning, though. What if I use not lightning? Wait, it's already... It, like, defaulted to his head anyways. I'm attacking the shell. Oh, I see. He goes into his shell. I got it. Ow. Damn, damage. Okay, so... Okay, so hold on. I already see similarities and differences from Final Fantasy V. The similarity is... Bosses have gimmicks. And it's already showing us, like, hey, bosses are going to have gimmicks. So that's a lot like Final Fantasy V. The difference is that when I did the gimmick wrong, it hurt me, like, 30 damage instead of 9,999, which is what Final Fantasy V would have done. Like, like Final Fantasy V's gimmick game was, like, if you don't do the gimmick right, you die a horrible death. In this one, if you don't do the gimmick right, it makes the fight harder. Already an improvement. <laughs> Already a very big improvement. Shoot a missile at him. Oh, I healed the same guy twice. I'm bad. Shoot a missile at the snail's face. I feel like we do so much damage. Like, I know this is kind of a tutorial mission, but... A lot of damage. That is true. A lot of the a lot of the instant kill gimmicks were later, so I shouldn't speak too soon. There might be insta kill gimmicks in this one too. Oh, give me the slime. Can I see what ailments I have? Oh, you can use weapons in this game just like the other ones. That's good to know. I don't even know what row we're in. 
Oh, nice. You can skip turns in this one. That's nice. I saw somebody in the comments say, like, during the spoiler part, that, uh, for 5, that you could skip turns in 5, but I think they were mistaken. I don't think the version I was playing you can skip turns. I think it's the newer versions you can skip turns. Unless I'm just an idiot and couldn't find the right button, but... Pretty sure I tried, like, all the buttons. This one, it's X. Let's you skip turns, which is the same as uh, Final Fantasy VII because it's the triangle equivalent. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're in the I game over to guard Scorpion crew. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you I game over to guard Scorpion because the first time I played it, I, it was like the first. RPG I had ever played. So. I'm sure they were like, attack while the tail's up, and I was like, attack, attack, attack! <laughs> I don't remember a lot of, like, my first playthrough of 7, but I do have that video of me playing it that plays in the intro to the stream. Where apparently I was pretty far because I got an S mine. Snap, snap. Man, the dying animation in these retro ones are, is so like. I love it. Has that like snap? He's dead. Do I go save after that super difficult snail boss? It's time for some S cargo. This stuff seems so OP, because it, like, doesn't take MP. You just spam it. Alright, I gotta thank some people. Thank you guys so much for the hype. I I can't thank you enough for being so hyped during 6. I've been waiting so long for this. I know you guys have too. And you're showing me all the love, and I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you. Not, not even just for the support, but just for being here. Just for being here and enjoying 6 with me. It means the world. A lot of people were saying... I'm gonna make sure to be here for your first day of six, and, and that's like so, so nice. Thank you. Um, save real quick. We had uh, CJ with the 500, Mavic with the gifted sub, Mark with the 22 months, Hoffa with a $50 donation. Thank you. Um, Rotten, thank you for the 100 bits. Suka, thank you for the host. Elsmer, thank you for the 100 bits. Rotten, thank you for the gifted sub. Hey, good to see you, Rotten. Thanks for coming back. It's good to see you, man. Uh, Sari, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Thank you, thank you. Kicking, thank you for the 26. Shane, thank you for the 32. Bribo, thank you for the 666. Uh, Bribo, thank you for the 5 gifted subs as well. And another gifted sub after that. And Ming, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that, man. How's it going, I know? Thanks for being here. Die smiling, good to see you, man. You've been here before. I love that in his dying breath, he throws a wrench at us. That's just amazing. No, I used the one thing that heals him. Good going. <laughs> Way to go. Muffin, thanks for being here. Only stream I will wake up at 7 a.m. to watch. I'm not sure I'm worth it. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I already get up at 7, so no big deal. But if I didn't have to... I'm just saying, I appreciate it. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know if I'd get up at 7 to watch myself. If I didn't have to, I'd <laughs> just be honest, I, you know. I have to watch the. <laughs> After having two kids, like I will sleep anytime you give me a chance. Uh, is that the Esper? It's in case the nice. It has to be something. This is the frozen Esper.
Ba -ba -ba. Oh, that was weird. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Oh, the song is epic. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Blah! Hey, Wedge, where are you? What's happening? Wow, it's a trick the whole time. Oh my god, the, the effects. Is this Adobe After Effects? This is, this is awkward. <laughs> Why are you watching me sleep? Oh. I'm awake and fully dressed. <laughs> oh man, what is this version? This might be the real version. But that's NES version. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this. The, uh, Awakening. Okay. It makes sense, because she woke up. Oh, man, we gotta listen to this. Oh, my God. So good. Yeah, so... You know, I grew up on Final Fantasy VII, and Final Fantasy VII soundtrack has always meant so much to me. But the first time I ever heard this theme, I just heard it randomly on like a YouTube video. And I just like, it stuck with me. And ever since then, it's been my favorite video game song. Cause it, it well, Terra's theme specifically, but you know, all the versions of it are all good. Um, it's just something about it. It like makes me want to play video games. Does that sound weird? Like it just, it has this like a adventurous feel to it where it's like, I want to go out and do an adventure when I hear it, you know? And I feel like that's the best thing you can do with a video game song is make people want to play what it comes from. Like that is probably the best goal to have when making a soundtrack is someone hears it and they go, I want to know what that's from and I want to play that thing. And I want to like, you know, it, it gives you like incentive, right? And man, this song, like there's just something about it. Where am I? Whoa! And I only just removed the crown. Head. Hurts. You want this back? Easy! This is a slave crown. The others had complete control over you while you were wearing it. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Final Fantasy really likes its memory, like, memory loss stories. A mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire and born with the gift of magic. Is it really a gift? I thought it was, like, demon stuff. The, uh, the portraits in this game are, like, so Amano. Like, even more so than the last. My name is Terra in all caps. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this fast. My name is Old Man in all caps. Oh, this isn't the village that we murdered. Oh, we blew it. Open up. Give us back the girl in the Empire's Magitek armor. I may or may not have killed like half your town. Open this door! We want that girl! She's an officer of the Empire! Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here! Nah. 
Aha! I'm a video game player. Open this door! We want that girl! <laughs> Is the elixir just an elixir? Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. Oh no, I don't have my overpowered armor anymore. She's up there! My, you blew it, old man. Dude, I got some epic shoes. These shoes were made for walking. Alright, these fights are about to get a lot harder. What do I have for a weapon? Oh! Holy cow, really fast attack. Wait, did he just hit himself with his wrench? What happened there? I got a level. Man, she really goes all out with her victory stance. Do you see that? Oh, I got a knife. Skill. Oh. Like, she puts her whole body into that victory animation. Yo, Tara, thank you so much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome to the crew. And RJP, they give it 154. Don't worry, I still see you, beauty. Yeah, I'm already uh, digging this battle theme. the snipes guy he was number one what the heck is that spelling phoenix down what the heck's a phoenix yep believe it or not this is my first time ever playing final fantasy 6 even though i've made final fantasy content for 13 years now i always wanted to do it with the community but I never had the resources to do a full-on Final Fantasy Marathon until last year. So, now's finally the time. Yo, Gabe, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it so much. Welcome to the crew. I got a sleeping bag. Time to go to my girl's house. Have a sleepover. Am I dead? Wait, if he wrenches me, I'm dead. That's not good. That's not what we want. He's big slow though. Wow, big heal. Might think with the five gifted subs. Appreciate you, man. Wasn't that the guy in the Hunger Games? Um, yeah, this is the last one I haven't played, minus the MMOs. So, like, I've played and beaten 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15. Um, it's been a hot minute since I played through 9. It's been a hot minute since I played through 12. It's been a kind of hot minute since I played through 13. But I have beaten them before. And then I know nothing of 11 and 14. Those are going to be 
interesting experiences. And, you know, we'll keep the spoilers to a minimum during those games anyways, for people that want to see the game for the first time. The only game that we're going, like, completely open spoilers galore is 7. Because um, we're going to do an in-depth playthrough of 7 and actually talk about, like, the whole story and everything together. Uh, Rotten, think of the gifted sub to Ronnie. Thank you. Got her! Uh-oh. You guys don't want to corner... Okay. How's it going, Supa? I thought she was gonna, like, go Super Saiyan and kill him, but she fell in a hole instead. My sweet little magic user! Vwee! Hee hee! With this slave crown, I'll practically own you! What, what is this Vwee thing that everyone says? I'm surprised we're already seeing Kefka. I thought I figured he'd come later. So this theme is epic. The evil Kefka laugh. What in the world? He's in a machine too. Wee hee hee, good. Burn up everything! He looks drunk. <laughs> we stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness a total revival of magic! It is our destiny and ours alone to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. I'm not going to say what that hand motion looks like. Especially the one on the right. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestal! He kind of looks like, uh... Kinda looks like one of the Final Fantasy X old people. Looks like Maester Micah. Took you long enough. How goes the robbing and plundering trade? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He, ha he has like a Bart's look to him where he's just like, what? <laughs> Treasure hunter and trail worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. Epic song. Oh, look at that. It it's me. Kinda. He's got the. He's got the hair. Yeah, yeah, it's me. He's got the nose. It's me. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ah, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. This better not have anything to do with that Magitek riding Imperial Witch. It's exactly her. <laughs> Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. The town is no match for the Empire. Or this town. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. Alright, I think we'd better help her. Agreed. Make your way first to Figaro and talk to the king. Figaro, Figaro. Is there going to be a bunch of music names for towns? And he's here. Good job, she's already dead. Looks like Indiana Jones. Now we gotcha! Also, the guards look like mummies. I don't know why. 
type of Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kupo. Oh my god, the Moogles are adorable. Moogles! Are you saying you want to help me? Kupo! Use us to save Terra from the guards. <laughs> Kinda. I, I, you haven't told me anything. You just said save her from the guards. You'll fight using three different groups. Press the Y button to switch between them. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Terra. Save her or else. Okay. What? Oh my god, dude. Tactical... Moogle Warfare. Let's go. <coughs> I'm allergic to tactics. Oh my god, what, <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, it's like, it really is like Fort Condor minigame. I got Kupek, Kupop, and Kumama. Oh my god. Can we hype in the chat for Kumama? That's my new favorite name for anything ever. That's incredible. Oh my god, they're so strong! Goku Mama. Okay, I don't really get the point of switching, because they're pretty slow. But... Mog, Kuku, Kutan, and Kupan. Oh, it's got a boomerang! Mastered a new dance. Epic. Alright, well I can just put him in the choke points and then I'm good to go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I should have tried the dance. Kushu, Kurin, Kuru, and Kamog. Okay, Kamog is pretty dope, too. Wait a second. Can I pause and, like, look at the Moogles? In the menu? Oh my god! Best game ever. Already. They all have, like, really unique stats, too. They do a little dance before the fight starts. Talk about an epic uh, start to the game. You got like this tutorial boss that has like a gimmick and then... Hold on, I want to fight with... Hold on, no, I want to fight... No, stop! I want to fight with this guy so I can do the dance. They have this like tactical part. What a way to intro the game. Dusk Requiem. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting, like, cute Mog Dance or something. <laughs> the Mog just did a dance and sent the frickin' Mammoth to the Shadow Realm. That was incredible. Uh-oh. Boss time. Dude, 
he dances and just destroys the marshal, I'm gonna crack up. But he got paralyzed. Dude, that one that one has a mace. <laughs> oh my god. Mog, are you ever gonna be unparalyzed or is this just the end for you? There we go. Cave in! Oh my god! I don't know what that dance does, but it just does all sorts of stuff. Go Mog Team. Mog Team, best team. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt. Mog Team 8. Alright, just picks up Terra like a item. Just runs out. I think this switch all How did that work? Eh? Yeah, you back with us now? You saved me? Savior, thanks for the Moogles. Uh, I can't remember anything. Past or present? You have amnesia? A man said my memory would come back. Give it time. You're safe with me. I give you my word. Question marks? I won't leave you until your memory returns. By the way, this secret entrance might be useful someday. Don't forget about it. She just, blinked. she just blinked at him like, what are you talking about? Yeah, really. This is Final Fantasy. Of course I have amnesia. So Locke is a really interesting character. He has this, like, thief gimmick, which makes it seem like he's going to be a bad dude or like a... I only care about myself kind of dude, but then he's like, incredibly nice. He's like the opposite of Zyden. This is a classroom for the beginner. Here we answer your questions about the world. Think of us as your advisors. Got the beginner's class, just like the other retro Final Fantasies. This is water from a recovery spring. Looks like a bucket of nothing to me, but... Sure. Environmental science. Ah, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. No way. This is retro Final Fantasy. Monster in a box. Super boss. Oh no, this isn't Final Fantasy V. <laughs> it's Omega. Wow, did you give me an item? Unless it gave me it after the screen and I didn't see it. Wanna know how to ride a chocobo? Press the A button or up on the control pad to go forward. Okay, that is really obvious, but thanks. When buying armor and weapons, you'll see some symbols next to your characters. Triangles pointing up to indicate increase. Okay, yeah. That's pretty obvious. Heard about relics? Relics give your party members a variety of abilities. For example, Sprint Shoes double your speed. True Knight lets you shield others during battle. Dragoon Boots add the jump command. Okay, well, they're going to tell me, right? Valuables are often hidden in pots such as this one. No way. Nice. Is that MP here? Yo, sir, cuz, thank you for the five gifted subs. Love in the chat. Thank you so much, dude. OMG, thank you for the host as well. How you doing today, man? The 
Did I talk to... Did I talk to this guy? Choose with the A button. Cancel a choice with the B button. If you should perish. <laughs> it's kind of a scary thing for the beginner's hall to tell you. If you select the wait battle mode from the config menu, you can take all the time you need to select spells or items without being attacked. Yeah, that's for babies. Sounds baby to me. During a battle, press left or right. Yeah, okay. Defense cuts receive damage in half. Selecting a spell, press L and R to select multiple targets. Okay, that's nice to know. Full meter in the lower right means that character... Yeah, okay. Okay. Is this guy sitting on a chair? Or standing on a chair? He's standing on the chair. Damage is more severe when caught in a pincer attack. In the back row, damage and attack power are halved. <laughs> He's announcing. Color changes indicate changes in status. Blue equals reflect. Spells reflected. Yellow equals safe. Defense up. Green equals shell. Magic defense up. Red equals haste. Speed up. White equals slow. Speed way down. Pink equals stop. Time stops. White numerals appearing during battle are damage points. Epic. Yeah, kind of cool that it gave you a preview. Might want to go out and get some experience in the world before coming in here. <laughs> Man. They have a lot of the same guy. <laughs> About reflect. Reflect doesn't block spells that have been reflected off others. Enemy protected by Reflect, try bouncing an attack off a Reflect protected individual in your party. Wow, advanced tactic. Near fatal status can result in special hidden skills. See what happens if you select Command Fight. Okay. Get back here, dude. Each sword tech sword has its own unique name. Okay. Need status info? Clear. Enemy can't strike you, but you're an easy target for spells. You revert to normal if a spell hits you. Imp? Lose lose use of spells and commands. That's a weird name for that. Zombie. HP drops to zero and you attack party members. Muddled and psych. You'll revert to normal when struck by a weapon. Multiple images of your character flash on the screen. Weapons won't touch you. Three-way attack indicates a fire, ice, and lightning attack. Reflect spells that will fade over time and can't block certain magic attacks. Runic turns many magic attacks into MP. can be used repeatedly. Morph increases attack and magic power. Duration increases with battles fought. Dance and Rage, once selected, will continue until the battle is over. Life 3, automatically brought back even if status is affected. Automatically brought back even if status is affected. Ronald Reagan. Use a curative spell or item on an undead creature for maximum damage. Maximum damage. It kind of told us everything that you would know if you played other Final Fantasies. So I kind of get the feeling that, like, they kind of expected you to play another Final Fantasy. If not, they wanted you to have a basic understanding. Which is neat. Whoa, this is... This world map is weird. I don't know why. Like, it... The angle is kind of threw me off. Oh my god, it's a leafer! It's dead. <laughs> yeah, very mode 7. Uh, I like the map, though. It's not for ants. So that's pretty neat. Can I see a bigger version of it? Select. Start. Oh, start gets rid of it. I don't think so. I don't want to hit... <laughs> I hit start and select at the same time, then I was like, uh-oh. 
Be careful, you will like, soft reset. Yeah, this is very Mode 7. But I like it. It's very flat, though. I'm hoping it looks better from a vehicle. All oh, those birds are cool. Look at those collars. Whoa, what was that sound effect? I figured it was probably LR, yeah. But I didn't want to, like, accidentally hit it. Final Fantasy VI was the first game to have an ever-present minimap. Yeah, I guess so, huh? It's really nice. It's, I don't know, like... It sounds silly, but just being able to actually see myself move on the world map is so nice. Because every other game was like, move, check the map, move, check the map. What is this desert castle? I want to fight something in the desert. Oh, we got scorpions. Are you are you trying to tell me that stealing in this game actually works? Because that's that's fake news. It's gotta be. How's it going, Caro? How's it going elsewhere? Oh my god, stealing actually works. Wow, we didn't get to this part of the fight music yet. Freaking good. Yeah, those save files were uh, on the cart already. Yeah, the game looks amazing through the SCART upscaling. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Now, the tonics are just 50 HP. But we have... Cure. Okay, so you can use right on the D-pad or L. Let me go, uh, oop, I walked down an accident. Figaro Castle. All right, let me go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs>